Hi, Ben Carpenter here. I'm going to talk to you about the number of reps per set to perform for muscle growth. So, typically speaking, bodybuilding recommendations have been for 8 to 12 repetitions per set. This has been the rep bracket. If you've gone lower than 8 reps per set, you were leaning towards the strength end of the continuum. And if you went higher than 12 reps per set, you were going towards the endurance end of the continuum. However, there are a couple of studies which have blown this wide open and have really changed the way that people should view uh, not only reps, but also weight used and total volume. So, research study number one, powerlifting versus bodybuilding style training. Now, I have a video on this that covers it in more detail, should you want to click, I'll link it there. So, the bodybuilding style group trained at three sets of 10 reps, a three times 10 protocol. The powerlifting style group trained at seven times three, seven sets of three. Now, three reps are significantly lower than most bodybuilding programs would ever go to. And it also utilizes a much higher weight, comparatively speaking. Now, with these protocols, the important thing to note is that volume load which is weight times reps times sets, was similar between both groups. So it was volume load equated over the course of the week. So three times 10 and seven times three. Both of these had similar levels of muscle growth as confirmed by bicep thickness measurements. So although one group was only training with sets of three, their muscle growth was similar to the group training with the bodybuilding style three times 10. So basically what I'm saying is that even with very, very low number of reps per set, hypertrophy can still be achieved assuming the volume load is high enough over the course of your training cycle. However, there's an important thing to note here. When you're training with three reps or very low number of reps per set, you have to perform a higher number of sets in total. So the seven sets of three, this group, their workout took 70 minutes total time elapsed. Whereas the bodybuilding style group, their workouts only took 17 minutes in terms of time elapsed. So although muscle growth was similar between groups, the bodybuilding style group did it in a fraction of the time, which makes it the more time efficient option. So if we go from the very high load, low rep end of the spectrum right to the other end of the spectrum, we have a high load versus low load research study. So this had the same exercises and same number of sets contrary to the first study. So it compared three times eight to 12 per exercise versus three times 25 to 35 per exercise. So. Muscle growth between these two groups, again, was similar. However, if you do the maths in your head, three times eight to 12 is a total number of reps per exercise of 24 to 36. Whereas three times 25 to 35 totals 75 to 105 reps per exercise. So although the same number of sets and although the same number of exercises, the total number of reps was significantly higher with the low load group. So although muscle growth was similar between conditions, with one of them you had to perform a much higher total number of reps per workout to achieve that result. So what we've got is that muscle growth can be achieved with reps as low as 3, as well as reps as high as 35. However, when you're training at very high weight and very low reps, you have to perform a higher number of sets to get there, which isn't time efficient. In the same regard, training at lower load means you have to perform a much higher number of reps, which again is not time efficient. So although muscular growth can be equated across all of these conditions, the most time efficient manner to do it is the traditional bodybuilding rep zone. So from the first study, three times 10, uh, is still superior to seven times three in terms of time and three times eight to 12 is superior to three times 25 to 35 in the second study in terms of time. So although muscular growth can be achieved across a wide spectrum of rep ranges, 
the bodybuilding rep range still makes sense from a time perspective. But this doesn't mean that you cannot employ a diverse rep scheme across your workout or across your training block, if that's how you're doing it. So that's it. I hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to ask. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training. My Twitter and Instagram pages are both BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.